Hello, my name is Deirdre Heaney. I'm an elected councillor for the Clontarf Ward on Dublin City Council. It has been reported to me that my position on the cycle path along the Clontarf seafront was misrepresented at a meeting recently held in Clontarf Castle. Prior to coming before City Council for a final decision, there was extensive consultation between management, councillors and residents. When it came before City Council, all Clontarf councillors spoke in favour of the project. Item 6 is report of the City Manager in compliance with Section 138 of the Local Government Act 2001, informing the Council of Works which are about to commence and in compliance with the Planning and Development Regulations 2001 Part 8. We deal with item A first. Report number 137 of 2013 proposed Sutton to Sandy Cove Cycleway and Footway Interim Works, Bull Wall, Wooden Bridge to Causeway Road, Dolly Mount and Dublin 3. Proposed Proposer, by Councillor Breen. Councillor Breen, seconded by Councillor Heaney. So I'd agreed? like to address the matter, Lord I'd like no. to address first. Councillor Breen. Uh, I'd just like to commend the city management at the area office level and obviously civic office level but also Con here from the National Transport Authority for uh, their engagement on this project and I think this is going to be a super project both for the city and the cyclists in the city and also particularly for the north side so again I'll fully support this thank you. Councillor Heaney did you want to say something? Um, we had a meeting, as you know, uh, Lord Mayor, yourself and the f myself and the three other area councillors uh, for the Clontarf Ward. It was a very progressive meeting with all um, interested residents who had specific difficulties. Um, and on the proposal of Councillor Jane Horgan Jones, uh, we all agreed that there would be um, meetings updating um, all the concerns of local residents, which was welcomed by all of us at the meeting. I just hope that um, we can ensure sure, Lord Mayor, um, that those meetings take place to make sure that all of the uh, residents' um, concerns are addressed on a continuing basis and that everybody be kept informed. Thanks, Lord Mayor. Thank you. Councillor O'Farrell. Thanks, Lord Mayor. Again, no, I just want to say thank you very much, for Con, for engaging for all your work you've done on this project. I think it's a fabulous project and uh, it would be great when we roll it out. But I also want to reiterate what Councillor Heaney said, that there was a, an undertaking by the, the local area manager that we would come back to. There's a few houses along the way that seems to be anomalies or whatever, whatever you like to call them that seem to be disrupted more, more, than, more than most, but particularly houses without driveways, without parking. And, and, and maybe, maybe in, in the fullness of time, Everything will be okay, but if it's not, I, I would expect the, the, the support and that promise to be uh, to be fulfilled. That we'll keep in touch with these people, and if there's anything needs to be done, we, we we can try and help them out as best we can. Thank you very much, Lord Mayor. Just as a final speaker, I just want to, like others, uh, pay tribute to Con uh, and the rest of the team, both City Council, uh, the transport guys, uh, and everybody who's involved. I mean, there's been a lot of work put into it, a lot of questions and answers, a lot of engagement. I know it's been fairly heavy going, uh, but it has been a super, it's a super project. Once it once will be finished, it'll be superb, so well done. And I think everybody is fully supportive of it now. So it's, can we agree that? Agreed? Thank you. I have been contacted by many residents about this issue in recent weeks. I am concerned about the miscommunication that has arisen over this issue. This has led to confusion and fear about what was initially agreed. However, fears that the wall is now higher than originally anticipated have been expressed to me by residents who are distressed about the loss of visual amenity. I have listened to these concerns and I have taken them directly to the Chief Executive of Dublin City Council with a view to resolving them to everybody's satisfaction. Finally, I want to reiterate my support for the Sutton to Sandy Cove cycleway project. If you have any concerns about this or indeed any other issue, please contact me.